Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are playing Aliens Fire Team Elite. This game came out quite a while ago, but let me assure you it is pretty fun. Now, I have been playing this game beforehand, right? So it's not like a totally new playthrough. But what I am going to do is I'm going to play through each one of these uh, campaigns. And we've got the DLC over here, Promise of a Flower. Which I have not played yet, so this is totally new to me. But what we're going to do is we're going to play on intense difficulty because I complete the game on standard, and you know it's all right, a few challenging, uh, challenging parts. Um, but yeah, intense. From what I've been reading, you get a lot more weapon drops, like um, the Kramer, I think, which is a good assault rifle, and amongst other stuff. So we're going to be redoing everything on intense now. I have no friends that have this game, I know, boo hoo, poor me. So we are going to be playing with bots, but the bots are alright, you know, they're half good. I mean, um, it does say intense, synthetic teammates are not recommended, that's basically bots, but I've played a few of the missions so far, and, you know, they do the job. Um, extremely insane, I, I don't, honestly I don't think I'm cut out to do that, it is. it can get pretty difficult. But um, quickly before we start, I'm going to show you my guy, i got the loadout tab here. So I've pretty much exclusively played the uh, the gunner class. And with that, right, you get different weapon types. You get like a rifle slot and a, a CQW, which is uh, close quarters, which is you know like stuff like your your shotgun and stuff like that. So I've actually maxed out. I've got max level for my gunner. I'm at max level for my my rifle and my shotgun, like that. Um, I'm not going to go into stats. I might do that later in a later video. I just want to get straight into the gameplay. So yeah, um, let's, hang on, let me just check. You can take consumables into the uh, the missions with you, sorry, the campaigns. And these do come in really handy. The ones that I've found to be really good are, where is it? I must have run out of them. I'm going to go buy some, actually. So in between each mission, you can go to the armory. We get this quirky guy here. Hey, if you happen to a all requisitions, come with free cornbread. Right, I got a nice little piled in the back. Nobody eats that shit. Right, yeah, wait for him to finish talking. But basically you can buy new weapons, attachments and perks. Oh, consumables is what we need. So what are really good I found are these guys here. Vulnerability assessment drone. And what they do is they increase damage and weapon range by 25% for 90 seconds. And that is pretty OP, if you ask me. Because it's just an all-out damage increase, which is cool. And the next uh, one that I normally take in is one of these like static grids or cryo grid. What these do is basically like slow enemies down. So it gives you, especially this is really good for the like the the elite aliens, like the big guys. It slows them down, so it gives you more time to just uh, melt them away with your guns. So um, how much? I've got one of these. I'm gonna buy another one. Right. And um, let's do this. So we'll start from the beginning. Intense uh, challenge cards enabled. They just they could basically make the game more difficult or more easy, depending on the card. And with that, you get more experience and more weapon XP. Anyway, let's do this. Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. So mount up, people. Right. Wait for it to finish talking. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use a challenge card just because I think um, I've only really got um, <laughs> ones that make the game much more difficult. So I'm not going to use them right now. Anyway, let's get ready. The refinery is not radiating on any frequency. Reconfirm orbital velocity for vector match. Right, and here we are. I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. We've got a ping on Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. Because... First, we need a deck plan. Will we'll you stop talking over me, please? Yeah, because I cannot do 
FPS's with controllers. It's just way too difficult. Another thing with this game, right? Um, is it scary? Mm, yes and no, I think. Some parts of it are scary. There's definitely some sort of like small jump scares and that. Just emergency lights. And maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Hunnaker. But yeah, I mean, parts of it can be, especially when like your, your motion tracker, which is in like the bottom right of the screen, starts beeping. Patch into the console, I'll pull it down over wireless. So basically what it is, you're a fire team guy. And normally you play with like, you know, like your mates or just like online. But I've got two, uh, well, they're called drones I think, but bots with me. And um, yeah, it's pretty simple, the concept. You go through the the level and the aliens come at you. Backup generator is beyond Hanukkah's ping. We can kick it after we grab him. I mean, like stuff like that happens, like little jump scares. I mean, I didn't scare me, but stuff like that happens. More like uh, like steam will just suddenly burst out of a, a pipe. Our men should be in the junction ahead. Ah, <laughs> there you go. See. This is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? There's another one. Uh, in the game, there are like little secret items, like um, bits of info and hidden weapon caches that you can pick up. We've been uh, playing through the game before. Acid damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. I think I've picked up most of them, especially for the earlier levels. Well, there we go. First ping. Did you see that there? I ran away. These as well, you've got like stuff that you can blow up in the environment, which comes in handy. He should be right here. Well he's not, is he? Oh here we go. High speed incoming, get hot. Short burst. Shot control burst. Way more than I expected. Ambush to rear. To rear, eh? Oh god, here they come. Too many. I didn't expect so many. Hey, on the deck. Hanukkah's PDT chip. He cut it out. But why? Hmm, yeah, but why? Wait, where are we going? Oh, I also forgot to uh, mention, I'm uh, kitted out with the uh, the pulse rifle. For, your, for those of you who've seen the movie, it makes that iconic sound. Which is fantastic. Gun playing this game's quite good, I would say. Although, like sometimes the uh, the sound of the other weapons aren't really nice. Like the shotgun, I like a nice meaty blast, but it's a bit muted, I would say. Like that. But overall, it's all right. Doors welded shut. Sloppy work. Guess Hanukkah went this way. There we go. We got incoming. Oh my god. Yeah, so you get like normal um like drones, you know the ones that we just shot at there. They're like the 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 most like common alien in this game. You also get like some like tougher ones who are a bit more bullet sponges. Them ones there are called uh well they're not called spitters, are they? They're called like analytic explorers or something like that, and they explode like acid everywhere. Movement, 
it can get pretty glossy like that. You can get overwhelmed really quickly. Still coming from the other side. A burster, that's what they're called. Very good. Shot at you. New signal. Watch its attacks. Yes. There's a spare. These guys are sneaky, as in um, they hide behind cover, so you can't shoot them. I seen you coming. The exits are sealed by Honaker, probably. Release the locks. This being the the uh, the first mission, I don't think it's going to get like too mad. But like in the later levels, it really does get like just there's just so many aliens. And like those drones aren't really the problem because you can take care of them pretty easily. It's just like when like the the heavies or like the tanky ones start coming, it gets really difficult. Track the doctor using station logs. I found a data access point, but it's further in. Concentrate on getting the power up. Like every now and then, just like random, like random aliens just spawn, just to keep you on your toes and waste your ammo. I think on the, the harder difficulties as well, like ammo is like a real concern because you just run out of it so quickly. in one bug. Where did these come from? Right. Dynamo room's just ahead. Restart's mostly automated. Alright, let's get moving. Because I think if you just hang her out, hang about, the aliens just keep on spawning, so you got to keep moving. Quite my size. Where's that? Where's that coming from? Behind me. Shotgun out. I hate when that happens, especially when they come from like behind you. But it keeps me uh, on edge. That. up is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever Grab bugs key off, they'll catch it. Be ready for a fight when you switch on. Right, yeah, so like every now and then you get to do like certain objectives where it, may, like, like it makes noise or it's gonna like disrupt all the aliens. And before you do that though, there's normally little um, like weapon crates and stuff where you can deploy these types of things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down a turret, because turrets are pretty handy. Um, a lot of them, I think, come from this left-hand side. Like that. So this thing here is like 300 bullets, or rounds, whatever you want to call it. I'm also going to put down one of my cryo things, and you'll get to see this in action. I think it like slows them down and does a bit of damage as well. I think the bad thing about playing with bots is like they don't put any stuff down, and like the only abilities they can use is that they can throw a grenade. But um, if you notice here, on the the bottom left, I've got like the, the Q and E buttons. Those are my abilities. Like Q for the gunner does overclock, where um, it really speeds up your um, your fire rate and your reload rate, which is good for burning down enemies. Trust them to come from the other side. They are as well. Oop. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Sounds like a drone. Not a drone, actually. Oh, is it a drone? A warrior. These like the the ones from the film. Activate my overclock. Just about to kick power to the mains. Nice sussing down. Great lord, well right. See, that wasn't too bad. Heading aft toward the core. We are. And also, every sort of like checkpoint, I would say, you get like a, a first aid kit. It's fine. It's good practice to um, heal and pick it up. I can hear something. Whoa, my god. <laughs> that scared me a bit. I always like to get the shotgun out when I'm in uh, places like this. Oh, sorry, I thought you were an alien there. Sorry, bro. Work Bring out the heavy shit, this is gonna get spicy. Got me. There's quite a bit of damage that. Hello, Marines. It is a pleasure to work with you. Hello. It is a pleasure to work with you too. Where is that coming from? Whoa! When you've got the uh, the difficulty on something easier, it highlights the aliens as they move as well. Which makes it a lot easier. But um, on intent and up, it doesn't do that, so it is pretty hard to see them sometimes. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can kind of hear like an alien like breathing. 
that normally means is like a, a special type nearby. Like that. Whoa. Where are you gone? Jesus. I hate that. Yeah, that drone, like the, the bigger one, he like tries to do, do like a runner. If you don't manage to do enough damage to him, he'll just like run and jump into a vent. And he'll come back and get you next time. Oh, he's about. There he is. Awful noise, that. <laughs> Grabbing ammo. The access point is to the right, through the door. I see ya. I can still hear that breathing noise, which means... Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it's exactly what I meant. <laughs> They're hiding in the shadows and they jump out on you. Oh my god. Oh, it gets the heart going in this game. Right, anyway, let's get to it. Because, like I say, if you hang about, and you start spawning again. I'm just checking. Whoa! You're all over the place, you. Yeah, she's checking for intel. Running a bypass. Whoa. Whoa. Well, don't run through me then. You don't get shot. Oh no, no. Cover me. Accessing. Thank you. I will be a moment. Oh, you're welcome. You what? Two shots never hit him. Got it. While S runs through the logs, you keep heading You ain't getting me, man. You ain't getting me. Boy, oh, maybe you are. Grenade time. Spawning. We need to move. Get some ammo on the way. What do you mean? We've just cleared this area out. Nice. Although I probably could have got more air into that. Oh, that was loads of them.
Pardon me. Two weeks ago, the mainframe on Deck 41 was accessed, I believe by Dr. Honecker. Marines, head to the core lift. Big freight elevator. Goes all the way up the main tower. Will do. Give that a quick reload while I can. When, uh, when we reach Honecker, we're gonna find a scientist or a puddle of chunky marinara. I got a pool running. Guess the one good thing about bots is they never run out of ammo, which is... Can you hear that? Can you hear that breathing? It's like normally they're just hidden round the corner. And you can kind of tease them out. I don't know if you saw it, but it's like up there somewhere. Yeah, can you see it there? It's a very big bit of machinery, that. I'd say test the echo, but you know, bugs. Got some big internal leaks. Never a good sign in space. Whoa, what's that? What are you shooting me for, lads? Ooh, watch out. Yeah, that acid really knocks you. Nearly there. You still good, Marines? Nah, <laughs> of course you're red. I can hear that breathing noise again. We don't find this guy alive. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, you see that? Pow! Right in the kisser. Whoa! It can get fruity sometimes. That's the here? lift. Entrance on the far side. We've got a lord coming this way. As you can see, it's a little checkpoint. We get some uh, freebies, sentry gun, and incendiary rounds, as well as a med pack. You know, what, I think I'm going to heal That's now because these types of uh, encounters can get pretty wild. Right, so I'm going to set up. So this would be a good place to use uh, the vulnerability assessment drone because that is going to give me. So I think if I put this here, right in the middle, then they can see both sides. So that should give me some good cover. And then incendiary rounds. So I'm going to equip them to my shotgun. Because the shotgun does loads of damage close quarters. And what else have we got? All right, so I'm not going to pop this just yet. I'm going to pop it like maybe halfway through because um, the further on the battle that you go the more like heavy type aliens you get and this that's where these things really shine. Right, let's get ready. Here they come. This is a big damn signal. Whoa, he went flying in.
Gonna save that barrel for later, hopefully. Just better get him down. Him just sat there like that. Right flank in the duct. You kill my turret, you son of a way. Sit down. Okay, now we need this. Whoa, get off me, get off me. Down you go, lads. Oh, come from behind as well. Grenade did a lot of damage there. It's good. Started to push us back quite a bit, haven't they? Into right. the elevator. Haul ass, Let me tell you now, if you don't kill all, get in the elevator now, on the lift, the Americans, they start coming thick and fast and you die Enjoy quickly. The ride, Marines. Next stop, Hunnaker. Or his corpse, whatever. And that was it. That was the first campaign. What do you think to that? It can get quite hairy at times. He's checking through my stats. Good. I'm always disappointed if I um, don't do more damage <laughs> than the bots. I'm pretty close with kills though. But you can say much far superior in terms of headshot, damage taken, and damage given. Hanukkah is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Our mission hasn't changed. Find him, get him out alive. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Most missions, I'd say, take probably between 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So it's like a um, decent length of time for a video. Um, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it's going to help me out massively. Um, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.